nine good day. All right, welcome back. She's competed on the hit Fox show Hell's Kitchen, earning a rave reviews from Chef Gordon Ramsay. She's also beaten Bobby Flay and become champion on the Food Network show Chopped. Well, tomorrow night you can enjoy the foods that help Chef Rosh win the show. Yes, she is here in studio today. Joining us is Chef Rosh Gurnani and the owner of Rog, which is a progressive Indian restaurant in Edina, and that is Sohil Gurha. Nice to have both of you here. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. us yeah. Oh, the food is, is delicious. This I know is it. an I've amazing been there. spread. Yeah, it, it's it's beautiful and so colorful. Uh, we're going to start with you, Chef Rosh. So you have done these progressive dinners before. Correct. And what can people expect for what you've got coming up? Um, so tonight we have a happy hour, which is just what it sounds like, right? Uh, some great uh, cocktails paired with some of my uh, happy hour munchies and appetizers. And just come hang out, have some fun with us. And then tomorrow is a seven-course progressive uh, dinner uh, featuring some of these dishes that you see here today. What is a, what is a progressive dinner? What does that um, mean? So it is seven courses where from start to finish where the flavors just blend together, grow, 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 and and uh, give you a punch in your mouth, so to say. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get punched in seven times. Way. <laughs> in the right way. Yes, in the right way. Um, and it just gives you a little bit of background of, of our cuisine and, and the, the style we cook, and it's really um, taking traditional flavors and just... Um, um, blending upping them. them and blending them into something beautiful on your plates. And so, Hill, I mean, walk us through some of this because you look at this and you go, well, this is colorful. And then you look closer and you're like, hey, I've never seen that before. I've never <laughs> seen that before. What are, uh, like, do you get a lot of these kind of misconceptions with Indian type food where like, do I really want to eat that? Or is this really going to be good? Walk us through kind of some of that. So you actually nailed it. And that's okay. the reason. That's the reason we opened Rock. So, you know, I took over the management of the restaurant last Christmas, like mm -hmm. I said. So it's been 14 months. I'm originally from New York. And uh, progressive, as Chef Roche said, is Indian cuisine has been elevated in bigger cities. You know, you go to London, New York, San Francisco, Seattle. It's not the same old spices, curries, which Heavy people sauce. are used to. Yeah. I love There's a lot of Michelin food. James Beard chefs and Michelin awarded restaurants doing a lot of progressive cooking. And what that means typically is taking Indian food, elevating it, but bringing flavors which are not very traditional. So giving you two examples, this is in our menu. You know, that looks like burnt chicken it going does. into your segment right, right here. <laughs> wings to it, chicken. Uh, let, me, let me rephrase, it doesn't look like here? burnt chicken, it looks like coal. Well, you nailed it again. Okay. So that is actually uh, one of our signature dishes, one of our top sellers. It's called blackened chicken. It's boneless chicken pieces marinated with edible charcoal. Look at that. And edible charcoal. Yeah, and it will still melt in your mouth tender. And it's served okay. on. All right, yeah, go you ahead. Get, give me a yeah. bite. Get it. I'll let you. And the taste white this sauce one. there is an eggplant mash, and you dip it with the red beetroot gel. Yeah. So that's another. Oh my goodness. Flavor. Oh, bite. so you so. dip it in there. Yeah. Oh, wait, I gotta yeah. go back mm -hmm. in. Mm -hmm. So, what I think, in. so Rag, uh, my chef, Romila, she's actually trained in some of the best Michelin chefs in France. So, what we do is we are a molecular oh gastronomy kitchen. <laughs> and we are the only molecular gastronomy kitchen in Minnesota. Uh, so, between me and Chicago, we are the only one. So, what that means is charcoal, when it combines with beetroot, gives that flavor explosion in your mouth. So the dish. Okay, to be clear, this does not taste anything like charcoal. They just throwing <laughs> that out there. I hope this is what amazing. You should be I'm going to try very, it, but I, one of us has to be able to speak That's here. True. So, okay, uh, <laughs> let's move on down here. And if you can explain what we have uh, to, well, right there in front of Cody. So I wanted to bring two different dishes. That's a uh, scallops grill, and what you see yeah. on the plate, everything is edible and has a purpose. On the top, you see is watermelon caviar. Oh, okay. So these are caviar balls made out of watermelon reduced. And that's where my chef comes in. And there's a high-end technique for it. So if you want to taste some of that watermelon, Here, you, you might can, get caviar. You can get in there and taste it. <laughs> okay, in the box. Yes. Well, either one. In the box. Okay, so what? I'm going to try one yeah, of those. Yeah, try one yeah. of those. Okay. Go for it. So Get, um, it, get in How there. do I eat it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I just you wanted just to do it, right? Okay, yeah. so just, just do that. You want to take the caviar right off the lemon? It's so pretty. Oh, the caviar, yeah, sure. That's what you want to really try. So the idea is the mildly seasoned scallops, and the caviar off balances the flavor. So to bring that explosion in your mouth again. Mm. Mm. I like that. <laughs> so no, I do. Th that's it's in a nutshell rug. So these are our progressive dishes alongside some traditional naan traditional, and butter chicken. Yeah. Now, so. Chef, uh, you're from Houston? I, yes, I live in Houston. Yes. And, and you, you're visiting here to bring this wonderful cuisine uh, to life. And obviously you've done that on television with a, a couple different shows. What, right. what was that like? Um, it was great to represent our culture. 
on mm. national TV. I think a lot of times, like Sohail said, Indian food is known or um, stereotypical for curries, butter chicken, chicken tikka masala. There's so much more. So which is um, good. Which I is fantastic, yeah. and that's what we <laughs> want to share, right? We want to share that with America. We want to share that with the world. Um, so it was a great stepping stone for me to be able to bring that on national TV and really show people, wait, there's so much more to Indian food than just curry. And I hate, I really, really hate. Mm. And you can quote me on this when people say, I don't like Indian food because I don't like curry. Well, that's one spice yeah. that yeah. you don't that like is of an array of thousands of spices, right? Um, so for me, it's very important to to be able to showcase that. What was it like um, working on some of those shows? I mean, I mean, obviously, it's a contest, right. and it gets a little gnarly in right. there. It's uh, <laughs> a good word for that. <laughs> I mean, it does. I would think so. I haven't heard that yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, you can use that. Okay. Yeah. So is there something that you would say that you learned through the process, uh, you know, combining a show like that and then what you do, you know, in a day-to-day -day life when it comes to presenting recipes? I think um, anyone that has worked in the kitchen know that it's go, 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 go. It's, you know, it's showtime all the time. Um, there, The heat is on. You know, there are places that, you know, um, it's rough and tough in the kitchens, and it is. Um, it is, and that's just because we're artists and we have so much going on that we want to be able to showcase that on the plate. Sometimes it comes across differently, but what we, we speak through our food. And I think um, in any competition that I've done, um, time is always your greatest enemy. Mm. Um, and you really want to be able to present yourself on a plate, and that's the most challenging part. Uh, for dinner tonight. Tonight. It's um, happy hour tonight. Happy hour happy tonight, hour. Yes. dinner tomorrow night. Tomorrow, yes. Um, are there still tickets available? Tomorrow night, I believe there's only about we eight or ten tickets. We got eight cancellations for some people who felt sick. Okay. So out there, we have eight tickets available for on tomorrow. our website for tomorrow. And then tonight is a meet and greet. Come on in, pop in like any happy hour between six and nine. Uh, I'll be there. Um, Love to talk to you guys, shake your hands, and feed you some of my food. I bet you people pick their pick your brain just a little bit about. <clears throat> a little you know, bit, like but I'm ready for that. I'm ready. For <laughs> You're that. Ready. You have to be. No, right? I got yeah. first connected with her, which is just by chance through some common connections. Mm -hmm. I asked her, "How was it being in the same room with Gordon Ramsay? Yeah. Does he really, you know, like how does that feel?" <laughs> yeah, that, I mean, I get that question a lot. And tonight, come out and ask me it in person, right? <laughs> and it's a beautiful space, by the way. It is gorgeous. Oh, I appreciate Absolutely. that. I know Kara Cameron from uh, because did the interiors mm -hmm. of Rock. She wanted award for the best design bar as well. So it's not just the food, it's we also have modern, some exotic cocktails, feel. really high end. And I do want to say this, we are in Minnesota, she's from Texas, mm -hmm. so you're not used to this cold. Exactly. But I'm in Hawaiian attire for a reason, I'm channeling spring for all Minnesota. Oh, yes. there you okay. go. Yes. All right. And my well five-year-old daughter is the co-owner of the restaurant. She would absolutely be upset if I don't say Sira Gura, you're the owner and this is your restaurant <laughs> and I'm sorry you're not here. But <laughs> become a chef, you'll be here. Yeah, there you go. absolutely. Okay, it sounds delicious. Yeah, it we does. look forward to seeing everyone today and tomorrow. Well, All thank right. you both. We appreciate it. Thank and you for uh, good us. luck to uh, both of you. Thank you so much. Um, of course, uh, the and next Sohil. progressive dinner thank is uh, happening tomorrow night at ROG Progressive Indian Cuisine. You can head to rogindiancuisine.com for more information.